ever had a problem, promise I didn't ask. So it's 444 in the car, my dash. Shake a big toe them all, you at first, you last. Little boy, that's facts. I'ma grow that cash to my money. From the site that many call the loudest in the NFL, we are inside Arrowhead Stadium here in Kansas City. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle with the Denver Broncos. Here's the kicker, Harrison Butker, ready to get this one started. And into a sea of red, we're underway in Kansas City. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line, so bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision, loses him about four yards. First carry here for Philip Lindsay. And he'll take it ahead to the 28-yard line. The game's first play produces six yards. Brings up second down. It's a pickup of six. Brings up second and four. Now locked. 28-yard line. Screen pass to Lindsay. And he's able to get out to the 32. Brought down there. Four yards the pickup. First down. Well, that was a pretty favorable situation there. What would you call that? Second and manageable? Smart play, too. Didn't force it downfield when he didn't have it. Just checked it down, let him get the first down, and that's exactly what he did. A gain of four last play. They double that here and get eight. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. At the 39-yard line. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. Four yards the pick up, first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. It'll be a pickup of 16 and a Bronco first down. Counting down toward the midway point in corner one. Fakes the give to Gordon. Now here's Locke to throw. Flushed out right. He's going to take off with it. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. Yeah, he only gets a few yards on first and ten, but he's better off doing that than throwing an incompletion or even worse, an interception. At the 36-yard line. On second down, they'll run with Gordon. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. Well, I think that's what they're going to need to do here in the first half. You've got to take some pressure off of this young quarterback. And no better way to do it than to establish the running game early. On third down, it's Gordon. And he picks up the first before he's taken down at the 29. 29-yard line. It's a gain of three. And the Broncos first down. Now to the air, Rock. He's got his big tight end, Fant. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Three yards the gain there, second down. A three-yard pickup. Brings up second and seven. Now Lock on the bootleg. That's complete, Akuna Budon. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. Complete. That one, a first down pickup of eight. And eight so much goes into a successful play, first doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to spring the tight end free downfield for the completion. Back to the ground now with Gordon. And they'll get him down right around the 16. The Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. And he's wrapped up, taken down, back at the 25. It was Frank Clark that time who got in there to bring him down. 
So third and long now for Locke and the Broncos following the sack. Enough to start to have a good drive. Quite like a big loss on a sack, though. Now Locke, he lost the football. It's out. And I think the Chiefs have it. They do. He's at the 50. He's at the 40. Always fun to watch a big boy pick it up and go. He may need a little oxygen on it. He may need a lot of oxygen on the sideline. Not only that, how about you and me trying to balance ourselves up here because <laughs> you can feel the shaking all the way up to the booth. That big guy trying to get it to the house. First and ten and kind of tipping their hand at running the ball. Three tight ends are out there. Now after the fumble recovery, it's Mahomes. And they will not get the connection there. It's incomplete. He was trying to get it to Tyreek Hill that time. But it'll be second down. I think we can all understand what they're thinking right now. They take over the ball in field goal range after the turnover. So they've got that in their hip pocket. But they've got to go for the end zone and turn this into a bigger point. Their thinking is a touchdown is really what they should get from starting here. Getting three points at the end of this drive, that would feel disappointing. And able to get this down inside the 15 to either the 13 or 14 before he's out of bounds. Give him seven there on the tuck and run, and they're in better shape now for third. Third and three. Mahomes looks to throw on third down, eluding the pressure right. And it's going to be incomplete. He was able to catch it there on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. And it's going to bring up fourth down. Mahomes going to go on fourth down. Flush to his right. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked off by Kareem Jackson. Well, when he went on the move there and started rolling out, I thought there was a window, but that window closed quickly, intercepted. And sometimes, despite how big your arm talent is, you don't get enough on a throw when you're on the move as opposed to setting your feet and stepping into one. That may have been the case there, and the defense certainly benefited. I think you mentioned in the opening drive that these guys needed to establish the run, protect the young QB. Actually broke that down, believe it or not. So how would you assess things so far? I'm kind of touched that you actually wrote something like that. Down. I appreciate that, partner. But I do think they've been able to do that. Maybe not as effectively as they've wanted to. But I think we'll see more of as this game goes along as they want to continue to take care of that young QB. To throw it is locked. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he will have a Broncos first down as he'll be marked down a yard or two past the marker following a gain of six. They get six on the pickup there as the drive continues. There's a throw over the middle. It's taken in by his tight end. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They fake the handoff. Now Locke. Oh, he'll air this one deep for Judy. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. It came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. Now a pass dumped off to his running back. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs 43. The good pick up there of 20 yards. And the Broncos first down. On first down, Locke. He dumps it underneath here to Lindsey. And he's going to get this inside the 30. The catch and run there, good for 16 and a first. First down, Broncos. Again, they'll throw with Locke. Escaping the pressure right. He'll run it. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. Now, how about that play? He took a possible negative and turned it into positive yardage and slid down to avoid taking a big shot. Excellent job getting down and avoiding the big hit. Now the Broncos are going to call the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. Here comes play number nine now as they come up on a third and three. He's going to take a shot for the end zone. And this is caught for a Bronco touchdown. Drew Locke on target to Jerry Judy. 
as his guys are first out of the scoreboard here this afternoon. And that touchdown gives them a touchdown lead before they attempt the extra point. What a great way to end the half. Yeah, great job to put themselves in front and now see on the sideline special teams defense scrambling saying we want to preserve this for the final moments of this second quarter so not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kicks away taken about seven yards deep and not wanting to risk anything here late in the half he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And they had a nice little drive going last time. Threw the interception in the red zone. Costly. Bad enough to throw it anywhere, but that drives coaches insane when they're thinking about, hey, we've got a shot at points already. We're already in a spot where you're thinking you've got three on the board for sure, and to come away with nothing, that's a really tough one for them to swallow. Yeah, will they make up for it? Throwing again on second down. Mahomes flushed out right. And going deep for Hill. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Bryce Callahan. And he will be brought down as time has now run out on this first half of action. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Okay, Coach. Appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. Broncos with a lead, and they will be receiving this kickoff here as quarter three is underway. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. And have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys are tinkering like crazy. What's it going to take to get back on track? Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. First and 10 at the 30-yard line. To throw, it's Mahomes. And he was hit as he threw it there, and it forces it incomplete. Another attempt, another incompletion, and when I look at the scoreboard and where we are in this game, it comes to mind that they have to start getting the ball in the hands of their playmakers. Throw it to the guys that maybe can take a short pass and turn it into a long game or make people miss downfield. They've got to have points, and the guys who can put the ball in the end zone, they're the ones that need to touch the ball. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. From the gun on third down, Mahomes he is going to find Hill here. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. First and 10 at the 49-yard line. Yellow, yellow. Now it's Mahomes again. Eluding the pressure right. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. And Mahomes misfires again, and it's intercepted. A.J. Boye with a pick. The first half did not go their way, and that's not going to help matters at all. An interception here on the opening drive of the third quarter. Obviously not what they were striving to accomplish, but you know who's really upset on their team? The defense. Already trailing. They're going to be counted on to try and hold that score at least where it is. He's Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Two yards on the pickup. Lock going to throw. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And they do finally get him down, but not before he reaches the 41. A huge play there on the screen pass. 41 yards. They'll run on first down. Gordon able to push forward for about four down to the 37. 
Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking. Now Locke, he lost the football in town, and it's picked up by the Chiefs. And he'll return this one just shy of midfield to the 49. The defense, they were swarming that time and ultimately got to him before he could get rid of the football and knocked it free. And don't you feel just a little bit of sympathy for him back there, though? So much going on, so much swirling around. He's trying to find someone downfield. He's trying to move around to find an open target. Sometimes you forget the number one thing, take care of the football. And those linemen, of course, can't be more than a yard downfield when a pass is thrown, and they might have been able to call that on a couple of guys there. Now a play fake here on first down. He'll buy some time right. On the run, he'll let... It's caught inside the 25. He's going to... ...go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. Chiefs. First and 10 at the 21-yard line. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Flush to his right. And that's off the mark, incomplete. We've seen these defenses make enough opportunistic plays to keep this one low scoring. Flying around, making plays on the ball, and we see yet another errant throw as a result. Escaping the pressure right. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Going to need better protection here. Third and long following the sack from Mahomes and company. Back at the 27. From the gun, it's Mahomes. Polluting the pressure right. Wide open is Watkins. He's got him. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. They wind up getting 16, but even that's not quite enough. It's fourth down. The offense here not budging. They're going to fight for it on fourth and inches. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. One score down. Here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. They'll go for it. It's Mahomes. Flush to his right. He can run for it, and he will. Five yards on the scramble, and that's enough to pick up the first. A looming decision to make on the conversion down seven, but first things first, they need to... This is caught by Hill for a Chiefs touchdown. Oh, a seven-yard touchdown grab, and the Chiefs are an extra point away from tying up this football game. On those slants, everything happens so quickly. What makes it work? The timing between the passer and the receiver. In this case, a slant route. Ordinarily, it's probably about three steps before you go on the slant. In this amount of time, I think it was a two-step deal. Boom, put his foot in the ground and got inside for the pass. Got inside for the pass, got inside for the catch and the score. This will be caught at about the five. Do you have one of those charts that tells you to go for two or go for one? I don't. I know you do. But I don't care what the chart says there. you got to kick it, right? I, I agree totally because somewhere the chart's going to – something's going to pop out of the chart and say, hey, man, just kick the extra point here. You're in good shape. I think they were chasing points there when they didn't need to. Yeah, try to get a little bit greedy, take the lead in the fourth quarter. Now they still trail by one. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. They're holding on right now to that slim advantage in a one-score game, and you hear a lot about two-minute offense and four-minute offense. Obviously, the four-minute offense applies here. How do they run that effectively? Yeah, really what the four-minute offense is is you're just trying to grind the clock. So you want consistent gains, steady gains. Doesn't have to be big plays, but it has to be plays that kicks first downs and keeps the ball away from your opponent. But certainly throwing the ball is in the mix here. It certainly is. Just make sure that you're careful with it. And again, get those first downs, keep possession of the football. Just a couple on the pick up there, and now it's third down. And it's third down. Here's Locke to throw. Sliding out of the pocket. He may try and run for this. 
And he will have a Broncos first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A good decision in the end. The pull and run gets him nine yards and a first. First down. On first and ten, it's Lindsey. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. That one good for 13 and a Denver first down. A gain of 13 yards. First down, Broncos. Now a 10th carry for Melvin Gordon. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. Melvin Gordon, the I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. And I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. We've got control of this thing. Get him behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. He's brought down. Fourth quarter, two minutes on the clock in a tight one-point game. And it's third down. So it's Bronco football as we get your reset here. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. And this effort won't be enough as they rally up to stop him a couple of yards short. He needed two, he got one, and that's going to leave him with fourth down at a yard. It's now fourth down. Vic Fangio, an old school coach, but he's going to go for it here on fourth. to the 33, good enough for a first down. That one a back breaker as they wind up converting there on fourth. running room down to the 32. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 seconds to go in the game. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. They keep it on the ground again. Gordon. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. I guess the simple question, why not just take a knee there? I don't understand either why you would take any sort of a chance. We've seen it happen in the game of football. It doesn't matter whether you've watched high school, college, or the NFL. Some people get a little greedy, try to get that extra running play in, and it can backfire on them. Fighting his way down to about the 35-yard line. The Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. And this is good. He got just enough to clear the crossbar as he drops it in from long distance. And they bump the lead up to four now at 10-6. So they get the three, but you wonder now, is that going to be enough? Excellent question, because when I look at the smiles on that side of the field, they're a little tight, aren't they? If they had scored a touchdown there, those would be big half-moon grins right now because they'd feel a whole lot better about their position. And a touchdown in the other direction, all of a sudden, they're down. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. Escaping the pressure right. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. A.J. Bouye, the fine cornerback, there to make the play defensively. And this one incomplete. So the clock stopped now with 20 seconds remaining. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. He'll look to throw. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. They get six. That'll leave him with third and four. He's been quiet today in the passing game, just his second catch. Yeah, and people have to come up with schemes to limit him. And, and what a lot of teams do, 
They'll double him, you know, use a linebacker underneath, a safety over the top. Sometimes they'll just take a corner, maybe their third corner if he's a bigger guy, and put him on a man-to-man to try and limit his touches. Just keep mixing it up, give him different angles, different looks, like a good boxer does. And incomplete. He can't hang on. Would have been a nice catch. Instead, it brings up a fourth down. Down four late. Got to go for it here on fourth down. Mahomes to throw. He's going to let it fly. And it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty.